me. Uh. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Tiff. What's going on? Oh my god. Um, first of all, I almost did not make this vlog because today was such a busy day for me. Although today was Saturday, I had a lot of things to do. You know how it is. Mondays to Fridays, I am at work. So Saturdays are like the only days I have to myself. So I, I just left the saloon. I went to get cornrows done because I want to do wig life today. I mean this week for the rest of this week. So um, yeah, basically. So I had planned to at least create content for you guys, but I told myself that it's getting late. So I might as well just create content here. So I am sorry if, oops, I need that. I'm sorry if, uh, I'm sorry if everywhere seems like gloomy. I hope you guys can see me well. So yeah, from the title of this video, you can already tell what we're going to talk about today. I'm just going to talk to you guys about my five favorite restaurants to, you know, I mean, if you are coming to Ghana, you know, to chill as my borders have opened, if you're a foreigner coming to Ghana or maybe you're looking for somewhere to, you know, somewhere affordable or bougie or classy, whatever it is to just go and eat or I mean, you've been in Ghana for a while, but you don't know about some really nice, re um, you don't know some nice recommendations or you want to take someone out on a date or heck whatever you want to do with this information but yeah this is just you know this has been tested tried and okay by me basically so anyways guys without further ado let's get into the video yeah so i uh, written down some restaurants down well i was going to say in no like particular order but still i feel like i should put in the particular order because i have to go like my list to my favorite but anyways five of them are my favorite restaurants so far but i have two bonus ones as well to add making it seven but these are like the five places that i will recommend for you guys to try oh sorry so anyways let's get into the video i've said that like how many times so the first restaurant i would recommend for anybody to try in ghana and why if you're visiting or you've been here for a while you want to go somewhere that restaurant would have to be drum roll da -da 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 boom oriental oriental <laughs> i'm sure my friend cynthia will be like oriental really <laughs> Uh, Oriental is a place uh, located at Palace Mall. Palace Mall is um, on the Spintex Road. For those of you that don't know, I know you guys will be like, okay, is mall food nice? I mean, this restaurant is a bougie restaurant. Like, you will not even expect this kind of restaurant to be existing at a mall because it's really pricey. But, anyways, there's a particular dish I like there, and that would have to be their fries and lamb chops. Let me tell you a brief, like, history about myself basically i would not eat anything that's not chicken when i go out but for some strange reason one particular day last year i went here i remember when i was working close to that place i went there and i ordered for their lamb chops they, no they actually told me to just try that oh the lamb chops is nice 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 so i tried it with their fries and oh my god first of all before i talk about the lamb chops they make the best fries ever like if you're looking for fries is um cheap so potato chips let me not say for some people that don't know what i'm saying so they have like the best like when i said the best they have like the best fries there wow and the lamb chops were on point and i'm saying this because that was the first place i ever ever had lamb chops ever lamb and after that i've gone to some other places and it's not nice i love their um, lamb chops lamb as an l-a-m-b <laughs> anyways i love theirs so much it's so it's a point like i say a point it's a one i'm still talking too much so yeah if you ever if you're ever visiting here and you you have a lot of money and you want to go and chill let me not say a lot of money like that but i think if that place is like a hundred cities that's not so much but if you're going on a date you have to probably you know take money that's my nose drink so if you're looking for somewhere classy nice you know romantic atmosphere i will advise that you go there to eat <clears throat> yes moving on number four i said number four no we're not going from okay we're sending okay so number two the number two place i would recommend is a place that is super affordable and you never ever have guessed that this place will have such an amazing menu like really nice food and that is big millies big millies is a beach at wager um for those of you that don't know i went to school around wager and that's why like i 
you know this place because not be as if I'm waka waka because sometimes I'm not this way saying that you, you know the restaurants in Accra waka waka girl but I'm not waka waka girl I mean sometimes I get hungry and I don't want to cook <laughs> oh my god guys I'm glowing literally anyways we'll talk about this a bit later so anyways back to the cocoa <laughs> so big meal is how this place came into like how I discovered this place was actually through a close friend of mine Cynthia what up Cynthia what's up, what's up going on if I didn't shout out to uh, this. If I didn't give her a special shout out, she'd have probably crucified me. So this place, we uh, we visited this place last year. That was the day after my birthday. I remember we were hungry, so she told me that have I been to Big Millie's to eat? And me and my mind, I'm like, why am I visiting Big Millie's Beach to eat? Because we had been to Big Millie's Beach before. Because if you stay, uh, if you know Weja very well, you know that a lot of beaches are on that side. You have Bojo Beach, you have all the beaches basically that day so i'm like are you sure i mean i was just hungry that day so we went there i had their uh, beans and plantain that's called them um, red red that's what called ghana that's beans and plantain with fish and it was delicious i was like ah, ah this thing is nice so like it's very very nice it was really nice i also had their pancakes and ice cream after that some other times like if i'm ever at Weja, we always go there in the mornings you know just to chill you know it was really good like the food is there is really good it's mad and guess what it's very affordable i think a plate of food i don't, I don't think i think the highest plate of food that you get is like 35 cities which is really nice and their food comes in like large quantities so it's very very good so i would recommend that if you are probably in ghana you know visiting ghana you want to go and chill beach settings whatever go there because i'll take this for me i've been to a very top-notch like very top-notch beach here in ghana that people talk about and their food is whack maybe it's mentioned the beach but <clears throat> <laughs> anyways moving on so yeah so i would recommend that so i started with oriental at palace mall and the next one i mentioned was what I just mentioned that was big mini so moving on to number three now this place is just wow I just have to say wow like wow the next place I'm talking about so I discovered this place because of work so there was a particular day like this I was hungry I was on Instagram I saw somewhere called Buffy's place and I was like I saw their food their food looked so nice so I was like hmm this food would be nice and i was hungry so i just remember taking their menu i just ordered the food first of all first things first the food was cheap it was like they said 25 cities for what i wanted to eat it was some um spaghetti stir fry with chicken or whatever that's what i wanted initially so i thought that okay if you're going to put like all the proteins that's like meat chicken and pork and um everything but boy we're gonna put all that inside how much is it going to be she told me 35 cities oh, no problem send it over first of all that was the first thing that was really affordable second thing is that the food is plenty like it was so much it's something that you can eat like twice or you and someone can eat do you understand it was so much and it was delicious like it was so nice it was so nice that i had to call back and said uh, i had to call back and say hi Yes, this is Buffy's place. Like I was like, I'm impressed. Your food, the quantity, I mean quality, everything was just on point. It was very nice, delicious. And most times I don't order from there while I'm when I'm at work. One being that it's too much, the food is too much. I never thought I'd be able to say this, but her food is too much. And you know it has vegetables. So if I keep vegetables for a very long time, it might get bad by the time I go home. But although I order when maybe I'm at home and maybe I don't want to, maybe I need to eat or something like that, and I'll take it and eat. Her food is really nice. I even met the owner one time. I don't know if that if her real name is actually Buffy. I don't know. But she has like her place is located around I think Osu. Yes, around Osu. She has like a small, it's not really big, 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 but it's really nice. You can actually sit down there and actually order. So I feel it's a really nice place. It's like a little cute romantic restaurant, that kind of thing. You know, so yeah, if you you're on a budget and they want to impress one girl, one fine, one fine sweetie. <laughs> you can just take her to Buffy's. Buffy's is very good. Her food is very, very nice. Yeah, so moving on. Number four. This is my second favorite restaurant in Ghana. Oh my god. Can you guess? Can you guess? Hot Belly Shack. Oh my god. 
this particular restaurant first of all had so much hype i remember a friend of mine was really hyping it beginning of this year that have you been to pop belly shark they're talking about it kinikon kong, kinikon kong. i mean i was like oh please what's all the hype about until one day like this cynthia support, support <laughs> cynthia surprised me and she said let's go out and she took me there and first of all i was like mm, with their food would be nice my god first of all first things first they make like no no first things first let's talk about the scenery for those of you that have been to pop belly shark just talk about the how this everywhere looks like like the environment is so nice they have this whole cowboy theme going on you know you know when you go all these western movies like not western like how do i describe it you know western like western like those cowboy-ish things they have that kind of thing going on like the whole setting is beautiful like it's really beautiful guys like when you go there you already be attracted to everything it's just so pretty and please can we just talk about the hot dogs that they serve there you will not find any hot dog like that in Accra. If you like junk food, <laughs> you like hot dogs, come to Port Belisha. Rather, go to Port Belisha because you're not going to find anything very nice like that. Trust me. I don't know how they do it, but I've actually had all the varieties of their hot dogs. Cutie. <laughs> but that particular day, we did not have a hot dog. I think we had rice. And chicken one thing about me is that I like to play safe if I go to a new place for the first time and I'm not sure and I'm hungry I just go with like jollof because I know that last last I'll finish jollof that's the thing maybe I'll use the shito the pepper to eat the rice I'll shall eat it I don't like to buy so much but surprisingly the jollof was nice then we now ordered the hot dog it was nice and for some time i think i've been there on some occasions again if not for work and like distance per se i've been there i think it's located at east legon yes it's located at east legon my dad is watching this video he'll be like mm -hmm, mama waka waka you know the place is in Accra. <laughs> but it's not true <laughs> well anyways i i like good food so that food is really nice so you should actually try their locate them so i want to recap before i go to my best favorite restaurant so the first restaurant we mentioned was oriental oriental is on the spintex road at palace mall if you put palace mall on your map you're gonna see it number um number four number two sorry was big millies big millies located at wager precisely barrier plaku barrier yeah plaku barrier after wager then number three we mentioned baffy's place Baffy's Itri rather. Baffy's Itri is located at Osu. If you put it on your Google map, you're going to see Baffy's Itri. You see the B-A-F-F-Y. I think you see that written on, on my screen right now. <laughs> and number two, the second place you mentioned was Port Belly Shack. And I said Port Belly Shack is, is located at Osu. So go there. It's very, very affordable. So out of the four restaurants I mentioned, at least two are very, very affordable. Two are super affordable by me. Big Millie's and Port Belly Shack are very affordable. Baffy's, in fact, Baffy's is very affordable it's only oriented as kind of pricey so now <clears throat> without any long talk too much story my favorite place to be in the whole of Ghana my favorite restaurant I want to say favorite trust me I've been to a lot of restaurants like a lot and nobody does it for me like they do for me and that is Coco Lounge oh my god guys guys <sighs> Ever since, I just want to say this now, ever since, let me just say this now, since 2017 till now, on my birthdays, I must always visit Coco Lounge, aside from when like, I occasionally go there, but if I'm going to have anything or whatever, it's Coco Lounge I'm going to, <laughs> like that is me, it is such a classy place, like, it is beautiful, the food there is amazing, Coco Lounge is like the only place I can go to and I can actually finish their food, I can finish anything you give me there, like Coco Lounge is just my favorite restaurant favorite place to be the waiters and everything is just perfect like everything is perfect except for the fact that it is so expensive like you finish eating at coco land and then they'll, they'll bring the bill it's like 500 so i'll be like ah also what did i eat <laughs> But anyways guys, Coco Lounge is such an amazing place to be like it's beautiful, it's classy, it's five star. I mean like it's it's uh, Mommy, if you're watching this video, when I take this Coco Lounge, it's been, a, it's been a minute. I think the last time I went there was like last month or something like that to show you how much obsessed I am with it. Like, I mean, like, I'm obsessed with that restaurant. <laughs> like, I'm obsessed. I'm, the managers know me. Some of the waiters know me. Like, I am obsessed with that place. It's such a beautiful place. But anyways, guys, so I'm going to add one more restaurant that I did not mention. And that would have to be... Hmm... I told you people I'll give people two bonus restaurants. Uh, hmm. Hmm. 
you know what that's all for me to be honest i don't want to give you recommend anything for you people why you people go and go there it's not be nice you understand but basically let me just say this first of all i'm a very 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 picky eater very very picky eater so you might recommend something for me and i'm not like it but just know something there's nothing i tiffany aweka has ever recommended for anybody that they did not like i mean any of my friends right now that i've recommended a good place for you or I've, you've allowed me pick something off a menu for you tell me if it was nice or not because i know was nice so anyways guys um yeah that's all and yes coco lounge is located at stambic heights i think uh stambic head office yeah. so anyways coco lounge is located at stambic heights yeah that's um liberation link road yeah you can just put it at stambic heights you know so yeah that, that's that's basically it for me and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it has helped somebody i mean comment to ghana if you want to know where to eat you should go here so yeah and yeah, today is Saturday and hopefully this video goes up tonight. Hopefully if I edit it on time. Anyway, that's it for me. It's your girl Tiff. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. So yeah, if you just stumbled upon this channel, as I'm looking for somewhere to eat, and you saw this video, please help my ministry and like, share and subscribe. Okay, bye.